YouTube channel. My name is Beth. So I worked on Mohu cross stitch last month, the whole month. And I got a little bit of progress on it, but there are some things I would like to talk about about this particular cross stitch. And uh, I also wanted to apologize to y'all because I was supposed to do this uh, video on the second, but I was sick uh, that Saturday and then the next Saturday on the 9th, uh, we took a trip to Indianapolis and um, went to the Jurassic Quest because my son loves dinosaurs. And then this last Saturday on the 16th, um, I was sick again because we got the flu. Yeah, crazy. Anyways, so I did actually quite a bit in one month with this uh, uh, Mohu cross stitch. I'm calling it the waterfall scene, which it's on a wheel. Uh, so the needles that it came with were actually too small. I couldn't fit the, um, the, the thread into the needle. So I changed out the needle. I just borrowed it from another cross stitch, another 14 count cross stitch, um, which is fine. I'll just return it. Uh, okay. So this is how far I got done. I'm on page three. Here, let me turn on a light. Is that better? Sort of, kind of. Okay, anyways, I'm on page three of this cross stitch. Sorry, there's, I have a dog and I have dog hair on my cross stitch. Um, it, the second page went pretty fast. Uh, I got it done. Um, the third page, I was trying to finish it. I got a little bored, which is okay. Um, but the colors, the colors are pretty good. I, I like the colors. There, there's, there's still a lot left of the co colors, which I'm glad about because I don't want to go throughout a cross stitch and then just run out of colors. So... Um, yeah, I, I think I did pretty good on this one. Uh, maybe I can get it again in a spin and then do finish this page and then start working on, uh, this page and then, you know, just keep going. Uh, the thing I actually really enjoyed about this and I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this is the first time I've worked on a cross stitch that has, um, that's been, what is this called? Um, gridded. I loved it. I've never, I didn't think that I would love the gridding of the cross stitch, but I do. I like the fact that it's easy just to, just to find where I'm supposed to go and, you know, do that. I just, it seems easier to me, I guess. So, yeah. Uh, also, I started working because usually I'm a cross-country stitcher, which is technically this is cross-country still. But um, usually it's I'm doing all of one color and then the next color. I, I kind of got bored on that on the first page. So on the second page, I started in the corner. Actually, I started in this corner and I just went... You know, each square, I would do one color of that square. And if I had the string left, then I would jump to the squares, you know, and then next square, you know, I didn't have that color, but, you know, wherever I found that color, that's where I stitched. So it's technically cross country stitching. It's just, it's just different. And it looks a lot different than what I compared. Okay, here, let me. Let me show the, the, the comparison to this is when I started in this corner and worked out this way, going diagonally, doing square, each square. This is where I didn't. 
and you can see the difference. It's all over the place. Yeah, it's it's all over the place compared to this one as well. Because I, I started this way, just keep going this way, and then I'm done. Yep. So I think it looks neater, but most people don't care about the back. I don't really honestly care about the back. It that doesn't make any any difference to me. It's the front that I care about, and I just I'm I love I'm loving this. I I am absolutely loving this. So if y'all want to get this cross stitch, it takes a while to get to you, but in reality, it is really fun to do. It's very relaxing. All right. Well, that is all for this video today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Y'all have a great day. Bye.